Mars Panic Volume 2. The important thing to re understand about the Mars colony is I don't think it is a long term project. I think it is a short term expedient project. Yeah, and that's why there is the rush set up with colony. Now initially if we set it up with five astronauts, five in a group is one of the worst courses we can have because we 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 lose our individuality, we merge into a blob. And now if you have five sent over there at first, they're gonna settle in but they're going to face terrible psychological traumas. And presumably there'll be five men losing their individuality and facing, you know, the bleakest depression. Obviously, they can set, they, they're there, the pioneers setting up the colony. They will then be joined in wave after wave of new colonists. Then presumably they will send some some women or not. Now, if they, if they do, you know, what sort of psychological stresses are going to occur in in the initial group of pioneers? You know, what sexual tensions, what eternal triangles are going to be set up? What brainstorms are going to occur amongst these this small group of people? in obviously an unnatural environment subject to the hazards you have already outlined and then there would be wave after wave of new colonists but these colonists are only there to set up a return to earth in 2066 approximately we just say 2066 so you get the idea 1066 and all that 2066 and all this so, in the years before 2060, 2062 is the approximate date when the disaster is you know, expected or predicted to, to happen. They will obviously send up, you know, before they can, they will send up a return crew. In other words, this crew will be the ones who will return and take over the Earth in 2066. So the colony will have to have return facilities, they have to have launch capability and vehicles capable of the return. And as I say, you know, the return crew might be the last crew to be sent up. Now what are the psychological stresses and traumas that are going to take place amongst the remaining colonists? Or is the colony just a myth? Just a smoke screen, it's a temporary colony say lasting 60 years so they'll have to send wave after wave to build up the colony to prepare the return facilities so that when they send up the chosen ones the crew that will return and seize control over the earth and will continue the command and control of the tyranny that is forcing this agenda so the questions we've got to ask the viability of this colony, if there is a disaster on the earth, what will happen to the remaining colonists? Do they think it's going to be a permanent colony? Can the earth afford a permanent colony? Or is this just a smoke screen in a temporary panic measure? This is the Mars panic.